All right, high rollers, as Phil Hellmuth famously said in that Poker Central commercial, those bleep bleep decaf players. See, he was still awake. His opponents were sleeping following an all-night poker game because the poker brat was on Death Wish Coffee, the world's strongest coffee, plain and simple. Death Wish Coffee making its foray into the world of poker at this year's 300K buy-in Super High Roller Bowl. And I gotta say, the branding looked fabulous. Kane Grogan is with Death Wish Coffee. He's the in-house gambling guru, you might say, a man of many titles, and he joins us now. Kane, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being our high roller today. Oh yeah, no problem. Happy to be here. The tagline says it all, right? The world's strongest coffee. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Tell us about <laughs> Death Wish Coffee. I mean, I asked you pre-interview, is it safe to drink Death Wish Coffee? I mean, it's the strongest in the world. Yeah, I mean, there are people that have caffeine sensitivities, so, you know, if you do have a caffeine sensitive, sensitivity, it's no different than other coffee. It's going to, you know, mess you up, but as far as as far as far coffee goes, even at twice the caffeine content of, of a normal cup of coffee, it is still just coffee. There's no chemicals added to it. There's nothing, you know, synthetic about it. It is, uh, it's just good old coffee, and we like to, you know, strive for the best of that, and, and world's strongest, it's not just a, uh, it's not just a caffeine thing, it's also a a flavor thing. We source some of the best beans in the world. It is very strong in taste and flavor. It's very bold. So it's not just a uh, it's a caffeine play, even though it does have higher caffeine than, than everyone else. I was going to ask you, because it, it is a strong tagline, the world's strongest coffee. Everyone talks about how strong their coffee is. This is a proven fact. You've got the strongest? Well, it, it depends on how you brew it. You know, there's there's a lot of factors that go into it. You know, scientifically speaking, um, we do have the uh, the world's strongest people picking it up and putting it down, <laughs> um, <laughs> which gave us. No, I'm just kidding. But um, you know, it has been tested against you know other people, and and when we started, the the thing that makes us, I think, you know, differentiates us is. There were no world's strongest coffees. No one was trying to take that crown. I don't think anyone had thought of it. It was a uh, energy drink war, you know, between all the the Red Bulls and the Monsters and Five Hour Energies, and give me the least amount of liquids and give me the strongest amount of high, you know, caffeine and chemicals. And we, you know, we kind of came in and uh, and tried doing something that was different, uh, that was good for you, it's healthy, it's it's not gonna you know shut your whole system down. And we think we have a pretty good product, and we were the first of the market with it. So you know we. We don't have any interest in going toe to toe with all of those, all those new companies that kind of came and try to stake their claim on that title. We just do what we do, and, and we're having a great time with it. The website is deathwishcoffee.com. All social media at deathwishcoffee. You've got great branding. This all started in 2012 in Saratoga Springs, New York. What's the backstory with Death Wish Coffee? Is it just about waking people up in the morning? Well, it originally started, the owner, Michael Brown, who uh, I want to say congratulations to him. First off, he just won Entrepreneur of the Year for Emerging Businesses. Oh, nice. Um, so that's a very prestigious title. You know, some of the best business minds in the world have won that award in the past. So congrats to him. This is kind of all his brain child. Uh, he, was, he was he owned a coffee shop in Saratoga Springs, which is a very small town in upstate New York. And, you know, he had a, originally he was an accountant and he didn't want to do he didn't want to work for the state anymore so he opened a coffee shop which at the time seemed like a good idea but as a career choice it was a terrible idea because it's hard to make money running a small coffee shop so you know a few years into that he thought uh you know he needs to supplement some income and he kind of wanted to get into e-commerce and at the same time a lot of his customers were looking for the strongest cup of coffee that they could get as they were going to work and it kind of just clicked in his head and he kind of you know searched it and there was nothing out there for the world's strongest coffee. So he then spent the next you know few months trying to develop a really uh, strong, tasty blend that had very good quality you know beans in it and the process and all that. And he kind of came on our blend. From there, the rest is history. It was just a matter of you know marketing it and getting it in the right people's hands to kind of talk about it. And um, yeah, now we're kind of we own that that category, which is pretty uh, pretty neat. Well, absolutely, and congratulations to your owner on that award. Death Wish Coffee. Okay, I hate to admit it. I mean, the first time I heard of Death Wish Coffee was the Super High Roller Bowl. I'm an avid poker junkie. I'm watching it. I see the skull and crossbones, and I say to myself, I got to get me some of this stuff. I mean, I just fell on, and, and the commentators were having fun with it. Why did you venture into poker? Is it a natural fit for you guys? I, I think so. Um, so, kind of to, to bring it back a little bit beyond that, what Death Wish kind of came very early on 
as it turned into a lifestyle brand. And we discovered that a lot of the people that were drinking it and supporting it, they all had very similar things in common. And it was this common theme of just, you know, hardworking, creative individuals that were just looking for something to kind of cling on to. And they kind of all discovered Death Wish Coffee. And it, it became kind of like something that they could just like wear proudly, like a badge of honor. And, and we started kind of realizing that they were all either, you know, police officers or roofers or you know comic book artists or musicians and then we kind of got into the whole like the music field and then we started thinking like you know what this is beyond just coffee and this is beyond just us these are passionate people at the end of the day they're all just very very passionate people and they were literally getting the logo tattooed on them and they were everything we were selling would sell out and you know mugs and all this crazy stuff so like i said very early on it turned into a lifestyle brand and we started getting into fields of of like-minded passionate communities and one of the those things was like comic book community so we started doing comic con we released a comic book we have the second edition coming up this year we started spot you know sponsoring some bands and we did a, a line with zach wild who is one of the uh, best guitar players in the world he played with ozzy osbourne black label society he, he does the whole the whole nine and, and then it seemed a natural fit when we met up with poker central who uh runs the high roller bowl and president joe kakady um who also lives in saratoga springs has been a huge huge fan of ours for a long time and he kind of reached out to us and was like hey man we we want you guys to be a part of this i'm a huge fan not only because of the branding and all that but i'm also you know it's my hometown sweetheart company i'd, I'd love to connect these dots for us it made sense because everyone's just drinking massive amounts of caffeine while they play for hours and hours and hours all you listeners know when you're playing poker a lot of it's a slow play game these tournaments last for days and they don't have many breaks so we kind of got into a deal to sponsor um, Poker Central, which then that was one of the events. And then it kind of just made sense and kind of went from there. And we've been doing it all of, since December of last year. We've been working with them and trying to become the official coffee of the poker world. Well, I love the commercial with Phil Hellmuth. You got to work with him. You ran a contest to send a, a lucky winner to the Super High Roller Bowl. And then, of course... All the great coverage with Ali Najad and Nick Shulman, the commentators. They were having fun with Death Wish Coffee. Had great branding on site. What was your experience, the overall experience with the High Roller Bowl? Were you guys happy with the outcome? First of all, can we talk about Phil Helmy for a second? Yes, we can. (laughs) Because that dude is as every bit as... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say any any particular words, but he is what he he is. What you see on TV is what you get. That is him in real life. Uh, it's not an act, and may, may, maybe it is a little bit, but that is just who he is, man. Like he went in there, and I don't know if I'm I'm, I'm allowed to say some of these things I'm about to say, but you know what? I didn't sign a contract, so screw it. This was back in uh, 2016. Um, we were sponsoring one of the Poker Central events, and, and it was a, it was a two day event. One of them was a poker tournament. The other was a uh, e-gaming tournament co-put on through Amazon and it was our first foray into the poker world and, and, and me and the owner Mike we go out to uh, to Vegas and one of the deals that just kind of fell in our laps was we're going to do a commercial with Phil, Phil Hummy for you guys and it'll kind of start off this relationship. And so I was like, that's awesome. I've been watching Phil Helmuth play since I was a child. Back in the you know, World Series of Poker days, for 15 years I've been watching him play. I'm like, I'm a fangirl, you know? Like, this is great. <laughs> um, and I'm like, you know, what is he like in, in real life? He can't, he cannot possibly be that way. Like, how can he possibly... And I'm sure all you guys listening know exactly what I mean when I say that. He is quite the personality so we get there um and we have this idea for a commercial where it's going to be a couple guys some of the poker central guys and uh and phil all playing a game and they've all clearly fallen asleep so we get there and i actually got asked to be in the commercial as one of the people falling asleep which i thought would be really cool because i'd never i don't think i've ever been in a commercial before and they're like he's gonna show up whenever the hell he feels like showing up it's probably not gonna be on time and he's going to then come and, and tell everyone how to do their job and uh for better or worse, he'll 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 do it all. And I, I shit you not, he, he shows up. Yeah, I think like an hour, hour and a half later, and he just immediately comes in, and he's just like, "Why are there red chips on the table? Red chips shows that it's a, it's a low, it's a it's a poor man's game. Do you want to do you want to show that to the, the, the world?" And we're like, "No, Phil, let's get rid of the red chips." So immediately, like within five minutes of sitting down, he's like, "Why are you playing with these chips? Get them out of here." So I was like, "Okay, fine." 
So we get rid of the red chips. And then, so we start doing these things. And he's immediately starts, like, rewriting lines on the spot. Like, I don't think he read a script or anything. Not that there was much of a script, but he's like, why are we saying it that way? How about we say it this way? We're like, okay, Phil, sure. However you want to say it, Phil. And then he was like, why is the camera this way? Like, these are, prof- I mind you, these are professional, you know, commercial makers and, and media guys and, and, and cameramen and producers. And there's a, there's a whole crew of people doing this commercial. And he's like, well, why don't you do it from this angle? Why don't you go over there and, and move your arm down? You should look more tired. And, and why are we saying it that way? We should say it this way. And it was like, it was so funny at how you have all these like well-known and respected people in the media. And they were just like, okay, cool. We'll do it that way. Like not even arguing with him or like trying to stick to their guns. They're just like, okay, Phil's now running the show. And it was, it, it's insane. The, uh, the room control that guy has, because when he says something, everyone shuts up and listens. Cause you just feel it turned into like, I was a little tiny person and it was my parent yelling at me i didn't want to disappoint him and that's how i was working with phil uh for that commercial but it, it was great uh, he, he was a good sport and he's laughing the whole time too so i honestly think it's just a way for him to have fun still because um, he's been doing this so long and it, it was a great time so when we got to go to the uh, the uh, super high roller ball and he was there, it was cool to see him again and say what's up. But yeah, it was it was quite the experience. Yeah, it's interesting that you mentioned the experience with Phil because he does carry that aura about him, right? I mean, he's a tall guy. He's a legend of poker. And when he walks into the room, he kind of steals the show. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's, a, he's not a small person. He, he's a big guy. He, he has that, I guess a good word for it is swag. Uh, he comes in with a swagger that you, you just kind of respect what he's done. Plus, he's you know no he has more bracelets than anybody. He's better than everybody. He's good. He makes you feel like shit if you if you if you go against him. And even if you win or lose, he's gonna make you feel bad for it. And he's been doing it so long. He does. He's a, he's a big dude. He's wearing gold shoes. Like you got to be a special type of person to be able to to pull off gold shoes and a, and gold headphones. And and that's just the, you know he treats himself as he's the world's greatest. He you know he's the, he's a Michael Jordan esque guy. That's that's how Michael Jordan was in basketball. That's how Phil felt uh, feels in and. In the poker world and, and he's heavily respected and, and there's no doubt why that is well you got to meet phil that's a plus what about the overall experience from a company standpoint the commentators talking about it you got nice positioning with the branding i mean i was tweeting out about death wish coffee during the high roller bowl you guys happy with the the play you got yeah, I mean, you can't be you can't be any more um, happy with with the result when when you're you know kind of new to this field and, and every every time we get into a new field, um, a new thing, whether it be you know music or video games or in this case poker, we don't want to just kind of pull our company's name, just like slap our name on the table and slap a logo on it, and we're not suits. You know, I, I love poker. I play poker. I love gambling. I, it's funny you call me the company's gambling guru, but I am the guy that's always trying to gamble at work. It's terrible. Everyone always gives me their money. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> but it's 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 one of those things where we don't want to just put our you know put our logo uh, on an event and kind of just you know and then look at the next event. What can we do next? Like we want to be there. We want to be on the ground. So when we got the opportunity to come to something like this, where it is some of the best players in the world. And then on top of it, you have, you know, a guy kind of heading the whole thing as the face of this uh, specific tournament and Kevin Hart, who is, you know, one of the top rated comedians in the world at the time. And I'm a big fan of him anyway. And we got to have dinner with him. And, you know, we got to give him some stuff and we meet him and, and he's, he's, he's just as hilarious as he is. He's another guy where that's not an act. That's just who he is. He's super funny. And we get to see some of the best, you know, players in the world that I've been watching for years kind of talk about it. And, and we got to hook up everybody with Deathwish Coffee. And so now it's in all these awesome influencers hands and, and they're talking about it and they're drinking it and we're in the back green room backstage and everyone's you know chugging cans of, of our nitro cold brew it was it was amazing and, and selfishly amazing because i'm a fan of this thing sometimes we do stuff that i you know it's not my particular interest but i understand the branding and why it aligns but this is one of those things where it was just it was real fun for me so i mean how could you not be happy when you see like all the you see you know a table that's got phil helmuth and kevin hart which is just like first of all w ETF, like what the hell is that about which is awesome and then you see our logo in the middle of it and they're putting cards on top of the logo and then the hosts of the event are drinking our canned cold brew and and people are talking about it and wondering about it and now it's kind of in that circle that we're becoming this like uh, you know official coffee of, of the poker community it, it feels special and it feels really really cool and we're super blessed 
uh, to have the opportunity to be a part of it. Well, I hope the association with poker continues for a long time. I know you are big supporters of the Special Olympics as well. And I'm wondering, you talked about the entrepreneurial spirit of the company. Tell us about this 30-second spot that you guys were able to win for the Super Bowl. What was that about? You really did some homework on this, huh? I mean, yeah. for just finding out about us, what, last month, you, you kind of know everything. You know? That's, <laughs> that's how, yeah, sometimes, you know, we got interviews and, like, this person just found out about it and they're like, call them right now and get the scoop. And they don't know what the scoop is. And they're like, coffee scoop? What scoop? Um, the Super Bowl thing happened, shoot, that feels like two lifetimes ago. Um, when did that happen? There was a contest run by Intuit, which is, you know, if you've ever heard of, like, TurboTax, um, they're, uh, like, an accounting software and, and they're, they're incredible. And they, it was the second time they tried this contest, which was where you got to win a Super Bowl commercial. And it was basically a small business uh, con- competition where you had to have less than 50 employees. And, you know, we fit that at the time when we entered it uh, in 2015. We were at like seven employees. Seven. So it was, you know, that is very, very small, small team. And we were doing pretty much every, we we're doing everything ourselves, you know, which was kind of insane at the time. We didn't realize it. But uh, so we entered this contest that I didn't feel that we had a super big chance because we were going against over 15,000 other companies. And it was about a six month competition. And you spend three months trying to gain as many votes as you can from your fans. And basically, you can go on every day and like vote for us to win a Super Bowl commercial. And, and you're doing like the whole, it's like an election campaign from a politician and it was three months into it they announced that we had made the top 10 which to me was just absolutely insane because some of these companies are like big companies and we had the top 10 and it was just like at that point it kind of becomes real like you're like okay there's 15,000 companies that join in this competition that that you know all have great stories every single one of them has a great story and a lot of them are on shark tank and a lot of them have like every publication you can imagine and then we won we won and it was crazy you know it was set for seven or i think maybe at that point we had maybe 10 employees to win that competition was just like you know every day mike was just like you know what would you do for seven million dollars because that's what it essentially is what it becomes a uh, seven million dollar prize that they produce the commercial for you after you win a lot of people thought we sent them that commercial and that's why we won we did not produce that commercial they produced it and then after we won we got to pick this, the commercial that we wanted and they then hired like hollywood straight up people out of hollywood they they filmed it in europe and the czech republic i believe or prague and they got if anyone saw the commercial if not look it up just type in death wish coffee company super bowl commercial but there's vikings in it, there's ships and it looks like the trailer to a movie uh, a movie coming out blockbuster movie so they they hired i believe people that did pirates of the caribbean and life of pi and, and some of those like you know academy award winning level teams of people and then from there they kind of just blew us up we were already doing a lot we were already the number one coffee on amazon um and doing some pretty amazing things for for such a small team and then when that happened it was just like there were goals that we had like five and ten year goals that we hit last year through the super bowl commercial just airing in front of you know over 100 million people so that was definitely like very sobering like okay now now we're big players now we're starting now people are starting to try to you know imitate and 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 kind of have their own world strongest coffee and and there was there was websites that were literally copying our uh website where it still said like why death Wish coffee in the bottom of it like they're not even trying like you're just trying to jump <laughs> on it which is hilarious but you know it's, it's at the end of the day i i you know that's that's the whole point of e-commerce i, I love it you know i'm not going to talk trash about them because it just keeps us hungry it keeps us wanting to just put out good product it's, without that competition i feel like it would be stagnant and you can't just compete with the overarching energy field it's got to be something like you know internal where they're like okay they're trying to do this so now we have like 30 companies trying to hit the world's strongest coffee now we have to say in our toes and it, to me it's, it's just friendly competition it feels fun so it keeps us honest but yeah the super bowl thing definitely um, helped propel us and big thanks you know big thanks to intuit and quickbooks because that competition, I think they're going to do it again next year, or maybe even this year. They're going to do the third version of it. But if you're a small business and you can get into it, it doesn't take much. You just sign up, and then from then, just like let the roller coaster happen. Because it is the craziest six months of your life if you get to win that. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate your time. It was great to see Death Wish Coffee all over the Super High Roller Bowl. Good to see Death Wish Coffee into poker. Phil Helmuth, good for poker. Kevin Hart, good for poker. And Death Wish Coffee, yes. Good for poker. Kane Grogan, thank you so much, man. Uh, on Twitter, you guys are active. It's at Death Wish Coffee. 
Really appreciate your time, man. Uh, no, no problem, man. Thanks for getting me on. Yeah, Twitter, at Deathless Coffee. You can find Deathless Coffee Company on Facebook, Instagram. Um, we have the best customer service department in the world. We all, we interact with everybody. So if you say anything to us, a lot of times we try to hit everyone back. Um, you can reach out to us you know, via email or via social media. Sign up for our email list. We do a lot of cool stuff. We release freebies all the time. Uh, July is going to be crazy busy for us. We have a bunch of free stuff coming out. You know, where if you buy something, we hook up something else. So I, you know, I definitely would get in on that. And uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to just reach out to us, and, and we'll answer you in within a day. Absolutely, and folks, the website is it looks great. It's deathwishcoffee.com. All kinds of products. You got to check it out. King Grogan, thank you so much, man. Hey, man, I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon.